Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. What is new coming from the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to the Galaxy Z Fold 6? We've been talking about the Z Fold 6 for a lot of information that's been leaked from specs to features to looks and all of that. And I want to go through a little list of things that are going to be new about this device. So let's jump in to it. The first is going to be it's going to be wider, sharper, brighter and less reflective outer and inner displays. So one of the things you could say sharper, brighter, if we're just talking about the design of this on here, the displays, they are gonna be squared off now instead of just like rounded edges. And then the display should be brighter inside and outside, better for outdoor viewing. And the reflectiveness should be better too. You looked at something like the S24 Ultra, for instance, which has anti-reflective displays and they really deflect a lot of the reflections that come on to the display. So that's really, really nice. An upgraded Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. You're going from the 8 Gen Two to the HN3, better performance, better battery life, better consumption of everything so that it just works better in general and better performance. New frame design, like we kind of mentioned, there's got the squared off edges, new lighter hinge. So it should be thinner, should be lighter, and the hinge should be improved as well. They keep improving it year over year. Z Fold 5 has definitely been the most valuable in terms of its structure. It's really, really good. It's really strong for their folding line. They've got the new uh, Gorilla Glass Armor, which is coming from the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It should also carry over to the Z Fold 6, so you should get better glass protection on your phones. I don't know about both displays, but at least the front display, at the very least, you'll get that gla Gorilla Glass Armor protection. Uh, bigger 4600 milliamp battery coming from, I believe it's 4400, then going to 4600, so you have about 200 more milliamps of battery life, which should give us better battery life, and then you throw in the Snapdragon HN3, newer software, all of this, it should give for us a better experience with the battery. Now, this is, possible if not obviously none of this stuff is written in stone for the most part but you kind of see where this is all going you we should be getting a 16 gig version of this phone with one terabyte of storage that's what their their latest rumors are saying so if you love one terabyte you should get it and then it should also come with 16 gigs of ram instead of just the 12. i won't be surprised if they stick with 12 though i'll be honest with you the latest I was hearing before all this is that RAM is going to be very expensive all through the throughout the year of 2024, and Samsung is just going to keep things the way they are. But we'll see. Maybe they'll come out with a 16 gig like the rumors are talking. Improved under display camera. One of the things I dislike most about this phone is the under display camera on the big display. It's not very good quality. It's pretty bad, but it is, has been improved from last year. And you can assume they're also going to improve it this year and make it a better overall experience for video and photo taking bigger cooling system. We saw it with the S24 Ultra. It's much bigger and you'll see it on the Z Fold 6 because of the Snapdragon HN3. And that in turn gives you better performance over the long run, better battery life, and just a better overall experience with the phone enhanced camera algorithms that's probably a given you should see basically the same cameras again but the algorithms overall should be improved with ai and the overall software experience the seven years of updates it came with the s24 series you'll see it with the z fold 6 it's going to be across their flagship line so seven years of updates you'll, you'll be able to keep this for a really long time if it even lasts for seven years of daily use i'd be highly surprised if it does to be honest with you galaxy ai we saw it again with the s24 the updates coming out for the s23 you'll see it for the z fold 6 so a bunch of things come into this phone at least what in in theory um so I love the, the, the Galaxy Z Fold line. It's still my favorite folding experience. Um, the Pixel Fold 2 looks amazing. I covered that earlier in the week. So there's a lot of competition. Obviously, you get the OnePlus Fold 2 to come against it, especially here in North America. So very, very interesting stuff. What do you think out of those things that have been updated or what's, what are new, what do you think the biggest takeaway is from it? I guess for me, it would probably end up being probably the lighter, thinner design. I'd rather have a huge battery in there and make it bigger, but I think the biggest takeaway like from everybody is gonna be how light and thin it is, but how well made it is. Let me know your thoughts, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.